In this lesson, we are going to build the circuit, so the Arduino circuit we are going to use for the course. And because this course is really focused on the programming aspect and the object-oriented aspect, I'm going to squeeze all of the hardware stuff in that lesson. So we are going to build the entire circuit with the components we need, which are quite simple. We need three LEDs, one push button and one potentiometer. So we do everything right now, so later on we don't need to come back to the hardware, it is completely down and we can focus on the code. So how I'm going to process here? Well, I am on the Tinkercad uh, simulation tool, I'm going to create simply a new circuit here and to uh, show you step by step how to create the circuit. And then I'm also going to show you uh, with the real circuit what is the final result. So I start with Tinkercad simply because well, this is easier to explain uh, here on this screen. And note that I'm going to use Tinkercad here for the circuit, but that's it because as you uh, could see before, it's not possible to create multiple files and to separate, for example, the header files and the implementation files on Tinkercad. So after this lesson, I'm going to go back 100% to the Arduino IDE with the real board. So first I'm going to uh, add an Arduino board here so Arduino Uno okay of course it's going to work with uh, any Arduino board you want and then I'm going to add a breadboard so let's add a standard size breadboard okay and the first thing I am going to do is to connect here you can see a plus line and a minus line so the plus line will be VCC or simply the 5 volt and the minus line will be the ground for all the components so that would be much simpler so I'm going to take here the 5 volt and just connect it to that one make it nice and put the color right because this is the, the convention okay to put it right for power supply and then G and D Okay, I am going to connect to that line over there and put it black because also black is the convention for ground. So now the ground of the breadboard is connected to the ground of the Arduino and the 5 volt of the breadboard also to the 5 volt of the Arduino. And I'm going to add some LEDs. So let's search for LEDs. So I'm going to add one, two, and three standard LEDs. One thing to note here is that I'm going to use the red one and then a yellow one and a green one. So it's better if you have those colors. If not, well, just pick any color you have. It's not really important. And let's put the red LED here first, for example, and then the yellow one right here and the green one uh, here, or uh, just a little bit closer here. Okay, great. So now you can see for each LED, you have a leg that is shorter than the other one, okay? Shorter leg, longer leg. The shorter leg, you are going to directly connect it to the ground. So because I have a ground line, I connect this leg to the ground with a black wire. Uh, with the real circuit, as we are going to see, just plug this to this leg to that line. Okay, I do the same for that LED and the same for that one, the green one, black. Okay. Now the grounds are connected. What I'm going to do is take some resistors. So resistor. Okay. And pick three resistors. So actually I'm going to pick one and select the value 220 ohm. Okay. Which is the value we need for the LEDs. And I'm going to make it rotate with that button like this and with ctrl c ctrl v i duplicate the led and so i'm going to put the led between here as you can see one leg so the other leg the longer leg of the led okay to another line and then this line uh, so for the first led i'm going to connect this line to here the pin number 11 um, let's keep it green. So I'm going to use the pin number 11, 10, and 9. Why? Because as you can see, we have a tilde here. So we have the PWM functionality 
that we are going to use later in uh, the course. So I plug it there, here, and this one is going to go to pin number 10. Let's change the color to whatever, blue. And this one also here, and it's going to go to pin number 9. And the color will be, let's say, orange. Okay, so now the three LEDs are connected. I am going to add the push button, so I'm searching for button here. Push button, I have the push button and I'm going to connect this uh, here. Okay, simply in the middle of the breadboard, okay. And I'm going to take one leg of the button, connect it to the ground directly. Let's put it black, like this. And another leg, which should be on an other side, okay? You have, as you can see here, leg, so the side one and the side two. So I'm taking the leg of the side two and I connect it to here, pin number two. And let's put it purple. Okay, and that's it for the push button. I don't add any pull up resistor or pull down resistor, okay? We are going to use, as you will see, we are going to use the input pull-up uh, functionality of the Arduino IDE and that's going to be a good thing to practice with also with the class. So we can completely abstract this functionality so when we uh, create a class for the push button we don't need to worry about uh, setting up the right mode or stuff anymore. Okay, the push button is done, pin number two. Any digital pin here uh, will work for this course. And the last component I'm going to add is a potentiometer that I'm going to plug directly here so that we're going to use later in the course at the end of the project and well for the potentiometer it's quite simple you have to put it here let's move it there so for the potentiometer we have one leg here so for example the extreme uh, left leg which would go to the ground with black and then the other side we go to red, so sorry, to the 5 volts, so with the red wire, okay? And then the middle leg is actually the leg for reading the data, and this should be connected to an analog input pin, and I'm going to choose A0 for this course. And green it is. All right, let's rename this, let's say Arduino OOP project all right and we have our circuit ready for the course for the entire project and here is the real circuit so first of all make sure that you don't connect the arduino board to the computer so it's powered off and then well this is the exact same thing as i did with tinkercad um, just here the potentiometer is on this side not uh, this side so i have what do i have I have a black wire here going from a ground pin of the Arduino, whatever ground pin, to the minus or the blue line here of the breadboard. Then I have the red wire here from 5 volt to the plus line of the breadboard. After this, I have connected, so you can see, three LEDs, okay, the shorter leg of the LED directly connected to the ground line. Okay, I don't put another uh, wire here because it's not needed. I put the uh, shorter leg on the ground line, the longer leg on a different line, independent line, and then I put a resistor, a 220 ohm resistor, between this longer leg and another independent line, and then I connect a wire between this uh, side of the resistor and a digital pin, so here, digital pin number 11. And then the same thing, the exact same setup for the yellow LED, this time with pin number 10, and then the green LED with pin number nine. Then I have my push button, so push button in the middle like this, and you can see one leg is connected to the ground with this short black wire, and the other leg on the other side is connected to a digital pin here, number two. And to finish with this, we have the potentiometer. So 
You may have different kind of potentiometer here. This is quite different from, uh, just a little bit different from the Tinkercad simulation, is that I have the uh, legs on different sides. Okay, but you still have one leg here on the extreme. So whatever side doesn't matter. One of the extreme leg goes to ground, the other one goes to five volt, and the middle one goes to here a zero so one of the analog pin you have here and well if you have a different arduino board just adapt to find different digital pins where you can possibly have the pwm for the leds any digital pin for the push button any analog pin for the potentiometer